Today I got a video request on the cost of living here in Thailand and I'm going to specifically be talking about the Digital Nomad Vegan Cyclist Starter Pack. So with this cost of living, um, this is good for when you're just starting out and you just want to live in Thailand as long as possible with a minimal cost. But uh, don't worry, you're not going to live in a slum. You'll live in a place that's decent and you'll be able to get your work done and you'll be comfortable. So let's get started. So what does it cost to have food for a month? So if you want to live uh, on fruits and starch, you want to have a fruit meal in the morning and then just have starch for the rest of the day, you can easily get away with 3,000 baht. That's about $96. So then you've got uh, the water. The water you can get at the reverse osmosis machines. They also use uh, UV to filter the water. And that costs you about 150 baht per month. And that's uh, just under five dollars and that's if you're having uh, six liters a day which is plenty of water and it's about what most of us active vegan cyclists have and then you've got the washing per month so that includes washing powder and uh, taking your washing to the machine you just put uh, 20 watt into the machine you can get your washing gun so that's assuming you go once a week it's a uh, hundred watt um, which is just under which is just over three dollars and then you've got the extras like toothpaste, soap, things like that. You can get that for 100 baht a month, just over $3. And then of course you've got rent. So this is a basic place like uh, the Siri. Uh, Siri, I really recommend that, so you should check it out. Um, check out the Siri Rook apartment. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Um, you can pay rent for 4,000 baht a month, which is, it includes water and electricity. So that's $127. And then of course bike maintenance, you've got to look after your bike, it's just one of those things. I've worked out the average is about 500 baht a month, which is $16. And then finally you've got the immigration costs. So if you're coming here without a visa, which I actually recommend because it actually works out cheaper in the end. Um, you, can, you can go to uh, immigration once a month, you get an extension and then you can do a border run after that. And the immigration costs per month, on average, if you do land runs and flights and extensions, it will cost you about 2,000 baht, which is $64. So the grand total works out to about 9,850 baht, which is $314. And that way, my friends, you can live like a king here in Thailand.